Hey guys, welcome back to another modeling tutorial. Today I'm going to be trying my best to create Thor's hammer. So let's hop into it. We're in a completely new document here. I'm going to delete the light, uh, leave the camera where it is, and I think I'm gonna build off of this default cube here. Um, I have some references on the right, so these aren't gonna be like perfect dimensions, but we're gonna try our absolute best to get it close. So I'm gonna go to my side view, scale this on the X. We'll just make the main like hammer part like the top of the hammer first i think that's pretty close i'm going to go ahead and apply that scale and then i'm going to hop into edit mode and i am going to start beveling everything so i'm going to go ahead and take a quick look actually it looks like i'm actually subdivide this a couple of times there we go so i'm going to subdivide this and actually you know what i'm going to do guys i am going to use a mirror modifier let's delete this entire side and let's add a mirror modifier Perfect. And now anything we do to one side will happen to the other. Cool. So let's do that. And just to make things simpler, since this is going to be basically the same on both sides. So to start, I do believe this will be scaled in like that. Well, actually, let's bring this out on the X a little bit, then scale this in like that. That looks good. So far, so good. And then let's see, it's got the main bevel along this line here. All right, let's see. Let's just select some edges here and try this out. One, two, three, four. I'm selecting all these outer edges. All right. All right. Now control B. Oops. That looks pretty good there. Maybe what do you guys think? I think that looks pretty damn close. All right. We'll go with that. All right, so let's see, that looks good. And then there's like a slight bevel along this like inner ridge. But before we do that, I actually noticed this, these edges right here, one, two, three, four. Oh, I selected the, the wrong edges, sorry. One, two, three, four. These are like smaller. How do I scale them by their individual origins? There we go. They're kind of smaller. So if you look, they kind of scale in just a little bit more like that. Yeah, I think that looks pretty good. I'm also going to go to my side view, go to my vertex select, and I'm just going to drag this over on the X a little bit more. I think this is looking really, really good. And I just want to double check everything. It's looking pretty solid. Yeah, awesome. Cool. All right, I'm pretty happy with this so far. So now I think I want to take all of these edges and bevel them as well. So I'm just gonna go to my edge select, select uh, this loop, or I'll just select it by hand, that's fine too. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, my gosh, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. And then we're gonna bevel that just a little bit like that. That looks pretty good. I'm pretty happy with that. Um, I also just, I just noticed this. I don't think we really need these edges right here, or at least we don't need this middle edge here. Hold on, one, two, three. I don't know if I can just delete these. Let's see. Or, uh, sorry, dissolve edges. There we go. All right, so we'll just dissolve those three edges on all sides. One, two, three. Cool. All right. I'm pretty happy with that. What do you guys think so far? I think it's looking pretty solid overall. Again, not a modeling expert, but I'm pretty happy with this so far. I'm curious what would happen if I added a subdiv. I do think it would smooth it out way too much. Yeah. Yeah, it would smooth it out a little bit too much, but we can always come back to this later. Or maybe add a bevel before that. Where is that? Again, I knew some of this was gonna be kind of an experimentation process here. Cool. All right, we'll come back to that later. This is looking pretty solid for now. Cool. All right, awesome. All right, so we have like the main part of the hammer up here. I'm gonna add that little piece at the top, which is I guess just a cylinder. Uh, looks kind of flat. It's got a little bit of dimension to it, but nothing too crazy. 
and it comes up to the edge. If we zoom in here, pretty close to the edge there. So I'll scale it up a little bit. Object. Uh, we're gonna do. We're gonna do a. Oh my God, where is it? Sorry guys, edge split. Where, where am I looking here? There it is, edge split, and then a subdivision surface. And I'll just give it the slightest bevel, just the ever so slightest bevel. Object, apply scale to. Just give it the slightest bevel. We'll give it like six segments. And then we'll raise that subdivision, shade that auto smooth, and that should be good for the top. All right, I'm pretty happy with that. Um. Yeah, I definitely am not the best modeler, but I'm pretty happy with what we have so far. One thing I want to do actually right now is I want to take all of, let's see, I want, actually, whoa, you know what, guys? I just realized something. If we go to x-ray mode and we go to, we can delete everything on the bottom, right? Oops, sorry. Everything right here, everything on the right side. What I want to do is actually add uh, another edge here, and then I want to do a a mirror modifier on all four sides, because then we can really perfect everything else. Um, so let me just see something here. There we go. All right, that's what I wanted to do there. And then we'll do here. We'll just bridge these. All right, we should be good to delete. If I delete the bottom here, I really don't want to delete what we do. Oh, I know why. I know why. My fault, guys. Hold on. There we go. All right, so that should be solid. Okay, we're good. All right, let me just try this now. So weird. Why is it doing that? All right, maybe we won't do that. Apologies, guys. We're not going to do it that way. I wanted to, but... Um, the geometry is giving me issues and I don't know why. I guess this is fine for now. All right, I'll settle for that for now. Anyway, we'll come back to that. We should probably focus on the other areas of Thor's hammer, like this part right here. I know you guys are probably thinking, Kenny, you don't know how to model anything. Well, you're probably right, <laughs> but I'm trying my best. All right, I'm going to duplicate this, bring it down, scale it on the Z like a lot. And then I'm going to scale it down. Now, let's just take a look at the dimensions here. Does that look correct? The thing is about maybe a little bit smaller. I feel like that's pretty close to the accuracy of the actual length of that. So I'm going to apply that scale. And I think that looks pretty good. Cool. All right, so now if we zoom in, it looks like the bottom and the top have two separate pieces. So I'm just going to quickly duplicate this, scale it up a little bit, scale it down, and just make that little silver piece at the top there. Okay, that looks fine for now. We'll come back to that. I'll apply that scale as usual. And then I'm going to duplicate that and bring it all the way down for the bottom piece. Now the bottom piece will probably be, let's see, what is that gonna look like? Okay, we'll probably use a mirror modifier for that as well. So I'm just gonna take off the bevel, edge split, and everything else. I'm gonna go into x-ray mode, go to my side view. I'm gonna zoom in, and I'm gonna delete this half, add a mirror modifier on the Y, and then if we go ahead and start adjusting things, everything should happen on both sides. So what's cool about this is I do think we'll be able to get away with something interesting here. And as you can see on the right hand side, we have this little piece here that like kind of comes up. So I think we might be able to use some proportional editing here with these middle verte excuse me, vertices here. So let's choose the middle one. And I should be able to turn on proportional editing yeah, so now when I bring that up, it should work. So let's bring up these three. Okay, that's good. It's at least working, but it's a little bit too... Let's try sharp. Oh, that's kind of what I was looking for there. That's better. 
cool. All right, let's go with something like that. And then let's take these bottom uh, vertices, scale them back to zero, bring them down. And we kind of are starting to get something here. Um, let me bring this one up with this. Cool. Modeling is kind of a pain, not gonna lie, but it's fun. You know, it's like fun to learn this stuff. Cool. All right. I'm gonna turn off proportional editing. And I'm gonna go to my side view here, and then I'm going to bring this up like that. And then I'm gonna add a subdiv to this. And I'm gonna put it before the, or actually I'll put it after the mirror modifier, that's fine. All right, and let's just see what this looks like so far. Cool. I'm also going to add a, a, a solidify modifier to this, give it some thickness. And now we can come in here and we can really fine tune this thing. Cool. All right, there we go. So now we can really fine tune this. So now I'm excited to see kind of maybe we can take this and this and kind of scale it in or not. Why isn't it letting me scale? All right, whatever. All right. I mean, that looks kind of close. And then at the bottom, it kind of comes in. So I think I'm going to add a loop cut right here. Cool. And I'm going to bring that down. And then I'm going to add another loop cut here. And one more. Scale that in, bring it up, add another loop cut. And add one more, bring it down. All right, let's see how that looks. That looks pretty good. It's a little bit glitchy, isn't it? It might be because of the subdiv. It's looking pretty good though. I'm pretty excited about that little piece right there. I mean, it's just coming from the one mirror modifier, but I'm pretty happy with that. We can come back and fix that later. I don't know what's happening there. Put this. Oh, there it is, there it is. It was the solidify modifier. It wasn't quite right, I guess. That looks pretty good. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna duplicate this one more time, bring it down, bring it down some more. Go to my side view. Bring it up, scale it in, and we are looking pretty good here. That's fine. All right, cool. What do you guys think so far? I mean, so far it's it's pretty simple. I, I wouldn't say this part is perfect. I definitely could improve upon this part a little bit. Um, let me just revisit this these edges real quick. Uh, let's see. I'm gonna look at this from this angle here. Looking at it as close as I possibly can. I'm trying to straighten these edges out. There's probably a better way to do this, but this is how I know how to do it. So I'm just gonna do it the way that I am comfortable doing it. And I apologize if this is not the right way, guys. Oops, I grabbed one too many vertices there. All right. One, two, three, four, five, S, Y, zero, G, Y. Perfect. All right, one, two. Thank you guys for being so patient with this process. Again, I'm probably not doing this the correct way, but 
I don't know. I don't really care. How about that? Boom, boom, boom. I'm just trying to straighten these edges out so they're perfectly straight. I'm just selecting the vertices and scaling them to Y0. Cool. One, two, three, four, five. S, Z, zero. G, Z. Bring them up. And then one, two, three, four, five. That is better. And I feel much better about those angles there. What do you guys think? I, th I think that looks much, much better. All right, cool. So I'm pretty happy about that. Um, the only other thing I can think of is just the ever so slightest bevels for these edges here. So like right here, here, here. Is it one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Then turn 11. I don't know why I'm counting. There's no need to count. I'm just selecting the edges that I want to bevel. And I'm only going to bevel them a very, very small amount. I think I got all the ones that I want to bevel. Oh, I got to do these. One, two. I'm holding shift to select all of these, by the way. All right, I think we're good. Control B. Just the slightest little bevel. All right, let me see what happens if I add the subdiv now. Really doesn't want to work for me, does it? Hmm. Let me just take a look at this auto smoothing and see if I can smooth it out more. Damn. Hmm. I mean at, at the end of the day, that's pretty much it. We just have to work on the handle or the pommel and then those gro the grooves in the hammer. Sorry, guys. I was deep in thought there trying to figure out what else is on this thing. It's kind of hard to see from like from this angle. It looks completely different. And there's also like a Celtic like kind of thing that is inside of it. Um, sorry. I don't know if you guys can see this well. There you go. Thank you, Kim. All right. Let's try our hand at the at the like groove part right here so I more or less it's just a bevel so let's see what we can do here let's go ahead and add in a how about a Taurus yeah let's try a Taurus and let's give this like not that many segments let's make it like really dead simple cool that's perfect scale it in we're gonna use this as our main shape so what I'm thinking we might be able to do is go into edit mode, highlight this half here, delete, mirror modifier as usual, and then I should be able to, oops, if I take these, yeah, that might work. I mean, just let me think about the way this looks. It's kind of hard to see like what this looks like. Excuse me. I'm looking at it right now. I don't even know if it's if it should be a Taurus or not. Either way, it's going to be smaller like that. And I guess this middle piece, should we just try proportional editing? Just see if we can get this to work. Let's try sharp. That looks pretty good. Subdiv. And then array. All right, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So there's nine count and it goes all the way down. 
to even under that. Okay. And we're going to have to scale it more. I think I'm going to scale it on the Z as well. I also kind of want to keep editing this like a little bit. Like I don't know if maybe this part comes down more. Hard to tell. That looks kind of good. What do you guys think? I don't know. It's kind of like it's tough to tell if it, that is like how it should look. This is also, we're going to raise the thickness of that. Add a subdivision back here. I don't know if the subdivision is doing much for us, honestly. Do we want, I wonder what an edge split would do. Edge split and then a subdiv. Nah. All right, cool. That's fine. You know what's interesting, guys? The more I look at it, the more I realize it's like also kind of tapered as well. It's hard to see in this picture. It goes up and then down. We pretty much have it there. Even with our proportional editing turned on. What do you guys think? I mean, overall, I think it looks pretty close. I'm also wondering, you know what we could do? Ooh, you know what we could do, guys? We could duplicate this, right? Hear me out. Duplicate it, apply it, or uh, scale this up a little bit, right? Hold on. Hear me out, hear me out. Scale it up and then cut into our shape with Boolean. I love doing this kind of stuff because we're gonna have to adjust this a little bit. This this is gonna give that leather like a really nice look. All right, let's apply everything and then let's cut into it. So let's cut into this. There we go, look at that groove. Now we have this nice groove. I don't know if you guys can even see that. That looks kind of cool. Nice. All right, let's do some shading, guys. Let's let's get into some shading, and then we can keep working on this. Cycles, GPU. Let's go to our world environment texture, and let's add in this environment texture. Boom. All right. I'm also gonna shade this flat for now. We'll come back to that later. This is looking really really cool. Let's get some metal and leather textures in here. And let's let's figure this thing out. Let's make it look really really cool. And then we'll add we'll try to add in all the rest of the stuff in a second. So let me go back to my real time materials. Let's go ahead and look at some of the metals that we have to offer here. There's like cracked metals and stuff like that too. When we get the leather, so this is leather. We'll copy a couple of these. Copy those. We'll copy this for the ground because I want the ground to look really cool too. This. And then we'll get this nice galvanized steel. And then copy all that. Oh, wait, we want this too. All right, we're going to copy all of those materials over to the Thor's Hammer file. We're going to paste them in and move them into a collection called Hide. And we're going to hide them. And then we're going to work on kind of applying some materials here. Let's go ahead and give this a. Actually, let's do the leather handle first. Uh, where is it? Where is it? Um, finished leather? Is that it? No, I want to do. That one's kind of close to it. Let me zoom in on this reference. Should we try full grain leather, perhaps? That looks pretty good. Let me get some different lighting in here. I don't really like this setup right now. That's fine. All right, so we got the leather. I think I'm just gonna make these just some kind of metallic material. 
metallic with a low roughness. Copy that. Cool. And then for this, we'll make this. Let's see. Brushed gold. Yeah, so I want to do brushed gold and then I want to make it. So if you look here, you can kind of see that it's brushed. And then I want to make it zero saturation here. And then we're just going to have to change the direction of like where it's brushed from. And we'll make the rest like that too. Cool. All right, let's change the direction here. Where is the shading tab? This is going to be such a pain because this node group I already know is going to be crazy here. Oh, there it is. Okay, okay, okay. So there's the mapping. There we go. All right, that wasn't too bad, actually. Actually, looks kind of cool. I, I might stick with that. I think it looks fine. All right. Um, you know what I'm going to do, guys? I'm going to copy the mountain material from my other file. So let's go to... Crystal shader, go here. I'm just gonna literally copy this. Save. Cool. All right, now we have this nice like ground that looks pretty good. Uh, let's see, we have the hammer. We need that insignia thing on there. We also need to cut into the side and the bottom. So let's do that. Let's cut into the bottom of this thing with just, I don't know, like a cube. We'll do a cube, scale it down, bring it right here. And then we'll scale it on the Y. And we'll just cut into this thing, no problem. Looks like it's a little thinner. Okay, that looks, that looks good. Cool. So we cut into it there. That looks good. Um, and then I want to make sure I this here. Cool. So now we have the cut on both sides. And I actually, the more I look at it, the more I'm like, that is a little bit thinner. I think that looks pretty good. Cool. Um, and then for the cut on the side. I'm going to add in a cube, scale that down, bring it on the Y over here, and let's go ahead and see if we can make this thing look correct. So for this cut, it's gonna go over, it's gonna go up. Um, I'm trying to see right now. I believe that's a cut. Yeah, it looks like a some some sort of like cut into the shape here. All right, so it's gonna go like that, and then it's gonna turn, go up. All right, tab into edit mode. Well, hold on, let's check, make sure this thing is on the correct axis. Yep, we're good to go. All right, we're gonna tab into edit mode here, go to x-ray mode. We are going to extrude this, rotate it on the Y45. Oops, oh, proportional editing's on. Rotate Y45, we're gonna scale it up a little bit. And then we are going to, actually I don't like doing it this way. I, I changed my mind guys, we're not gonna do it that way. We are going to duplicate this, rotate it 45, scale it on the X. But we're gonna scale it on the X first, bring it here. And then we're gonna duplicate this like that. I think that'll be good right there. What do you guys think? I think that's like almost perfect. And then we'll go ahead and cut in with those shapes there. Let me just move this to the proper area. I'm gonna join these together 
and then I'm going to cut into our main shape with them. And why didn't that work? I'm going to go back and figure out why that didn't work. Should be a mesh. Oh, you know what? I'll just do a little remesh modifier action on there. Perfect. All right, let's try that again. There we go. All right, cool. Do that up here. We should have that cut. Yeah, we're good. Okay. So that was kind of a little scrappy way to do it, but it worked. So that's fine. Cool. All right, that looks awesome. Um, and I also want to take, I actually want to undo this real quick. Um, I do want to actually take this. Oops. I'm going to take this and duplicate it and bring it over on the Y. I'm going to add a mirror modifier to this. Um, on the X and I'm gonna bring it oh you know what hold on I'm adding an empty and we're gonna target the empty as the mirror part okay there we go so I'm actually gonna scale this on the Y and I'm gonna I'm gonna basically paint the inside of that groove I know this is kind of a lot to follow guys but stick with me here cool all right, move those modifiers around, move this inside of the Y. Perfect. Now what I can do is I can take this object, make it black like that. And now we have that painted part on the inside there. I'm also going to add a mirror modifier, one more to the Y. And select this and I'm hoping that transfers to the other side and we're good to go and we are officially cut into this shape fantastic uh, although the other sides not working properly so hold on Man, there's a lot of hidden shapes in here isn't there this needs to have a mirror modifier as well and it's going to be on the other side. Why? Oh no, Blender's going to freeze on me, guys. Oh man, Blender doesn't like what I'm doing right now. Cool. And then we'll just choose this. Perfect. All right, there we go. All right, that was a lot, but here we are. Cool. And then we're gonna adjust this to like a pure black. Cool, so we're starting to get somewhere here, guys. I think this is starting to look really, really good. Um, we have our leather looking pretty good. We have our metal on the bottom and the top here. Also with this right here, we actually can do one less or on the array, that looks good. We have the bottom cut out. Everything's looking pretty solid on our Thor's hammer here. Pretty exciting stuff. I mean, at this point, we just need to kind of use a Boolean to cut in that crazy looking Celtic shape. I'm wondering how we're going to do that. Um, maybe we could just kind of do a modified version of that with some kind of curve object. Maybe we could do, here, let's try this. Let's do um, curly curve. Okay, bring that up. So we have this curly curve. Maybe we can do something with this instead. We can kind of give this some geometry here. Oops, maybe something like that. What do you guys think? That doesn't look terrible. Scale that up. Maybe make this our like profile object. I'm just thinking out loud here, guys, because I don't know how I'm gonna get that exact thing on the other side that we have, but with this, we might be able to do something really, really fun. 
Um, let's go ahead and see if we can convert this into here, hold on. Yeah, that looks pretty cool. All right, so yeah, here's one thing we do. We convert this right now to a mesh, and then we give it a solidify modifier. Cool. Scale it down a little bit, and then maybe just bring it over here, rotate it, bring it down, rotate it like this, right? And just kind of like make this thing kind of look cool as much as we can without going too crazy here. Let's see, let's see what we can do. Is it not working? Why is it not applying the material? All right, there we go. Cool, so that's like kind of a cool little shape you can put on there. Let's see if we can scale it on the Y. Move it over on the Y, maybe give it like an array, possibly. Well, that's weird. Why is it looking like that? I'm not sure why it looks like that, but. It still looks kind of cool, honestly. All right, it's getting caught in there, but anyway, you can add details like this very easily, but this, this thing's not at the perfect angle. <laughs> it's such a pain trying to get this to match that angle yeah i guess you could do a shrink wrap modifier but i i don't know there's something about the shrink wrap modifier that's honestly irritates the crap out of me i feel like it never works the way that i want it to so i rarely use it but overall i'm pretty happy with this uh let me just see there's some words around there maybe we could just do our own pattern that's not a curved path we could do like cube array or something like that try that <laughs> yeah like maybe we can do something like this and then rotate this. What do you guys think? That could look kind of cool. Let's see. That looks kind of neat. Anyway, that's pretty much Thor's hammer, more or less. I kind of like how the side looks like this crazy looking steel, especially when you really, really zoom in. What do you guys think overall, like the modeling process? I thought it was pretty cool. I know you probably want to see more added. This is more of like a modified Thor's hammer. Again, I kind of went into this not really knowing how it would turn out, but I don't mind it. I think it looks pretty good. I wish I could figure out something for those the, that side right there. I'm trying to think how you would make that. I even make that in Blender. I mean, you could try to like make your own text like i guess i could do like i could do my name in text and like bullying it into this thing i don't know i could do like a giant k up here like i could do add excuse me text k and then i could extrude it convert to mesh right bring it down 
and then I could cut it out of this shape. I could try to. That looks kind of cool. That's just a quick way to cut something into a uh, into another shape. The Boolean modifier is just so powerful. This looks cool. <laughs> this was a fun little modeling like experience here. I don't know. I had fun with it. I feel like we learned a lot. There's a, like a lot of things you can do with just the mirror modifier, array modifiers, all this stuff. Uh, but for now, guys, I think I'm going to call it on that. Um, for some reason, I just I think it's staring at the screen so long. My head's starting to kind of hurt me. So I'm going to take a little break, get some actual lunch. Um, and uh, hopefully we can do more of these types of modeling tutorials. I do hope they're kind of fun for you guys. Um, again, the programs I'm using are Blender and PureRef. PureRef is for the images and blenders for the modeling and the, um, the animation and stuff like that. But yeah, this, I think this turned out cool either way. I mean, this is just the basics. You could really get into some crazy stuff with this, but right now, I mean, everything I showed you, you should be able to recreate this yourself. Oh, I realized I didn't make this the correct material. Oh, wait, there we go. What's going on here with this? Uh, my blender is being a little bit glitchy, not, not going to lie, guys. Um, anyway, that's it. That is pretty much the tutorial. I do hope you enjoyed it. Um, this is like a modified version of Thor's hammer. Maybe I'll work on it more another time. But like I said, guys, my head is kind of starting to hurt here from staring at the screen for so long. But I do hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. I hope you guys are able to join me in the next tutorial. Check out some of my latest content. There's a lot of good stuff that I got going on with the tutorial content for Blender. Um, hopefully we'll be able to explore some other programs soon, but I do hope you guys enjoyed this and I hope you guys have a great day.